Hello again. Um, we've spoken previously about how to do a, a, a simple and easy database. I want to show you Google Sheets. Google has an interesting way of working. You don't need to download any software. You don't need to have Microsoft Office. You don't need to have LibreOffice. All you do is you need the internet. And you go on the internet, you go onto Google, and you look for Google Sheets, and you'll find something like this. And here it is. It's all online. So this one says untitled. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is give it a name, and uh, let me call it Tyson database and this is going to be a database that I could share with anybody all over the world and uh, I, I can not only share it with them but they can also update it and edit it um, so it really is a, a wonderful flexible tool um, let's let's make it very simple first name surname town and the phone number and uh, well <clears throat> why don't I put myself down first to do a phone number, you sometimes have to click on that. What is that? It's not a semicolon, uh, not a, a apostrophe. It's a sorry, not sp quotation marks. It's a single quotation mark. Um, just to to get it to work nicely. Uh, Jane Smith, and she lives in Kitman Swoop, and her phone number is that, and. And his phone number is that. So you know, and we can carry on and on and on with our with our database. What we do now is that first line. We're so we're going to say format, and we're going to say sorry. We're going to say uh, uh, data, and we're going to create a filter. And you'll see already that first line, um, it's created a filter. I should actually probably just do that because I don't want every single column there to be a filter. So those first four columns are now a filter, meaning I can now sort A to Z on town. And you see I've got Kitman Swoop first and then I've got Vintook second. Or I can sort A to Z on surname, yeah, which is all very nice. But now we have something which is even more interesting um, in terms of what I can do by um, pressing on that button, and I, you see at the bottom. Sorry, let me let me do the surname. Let me do the town. I can click on that button and I can say remove Kitman Swoop. I only want to see members who live in Vintook, and there they are. Um, or I can say. I only want to find somebody called Tyson. Oh, there he is. And, and, I, and I've got just that, that member whose name is Tyson. So you can, you can play with these. Um, and it really, you can, it's difficult to show you with just three entries. But if you had 100 entries, 200, 300 entries, you can see that this becomes a really useful database. And you can add other things as well depending on your organization and your needs and what you need to put in the data. Uh, you can share this, of course. Click on Share. And the people you share it with, anybody who has the, uh, uh, the link, copy the link. Uh, only people with, ac with access can open the link, or anyone with the link can have access. And they can be either a viewer, or they can make comments on it, or they can be an editor. So if you make it like that, anybody in your organization across the world who has that link can not only see that database, but can also edit it. So they can add, for instance, uh, their own country, uh, etc., 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 etc. Just one last thing, of course, uh, it's always important. Uh, normally, we, we do a, a document and then we back it up. With this one, it's always backed up. It's, it's in the cloud, in, in the Google Cloud. But you may want to download it to your computer, in which case you can download it, again, as an open document format. Or if you're still using Microsoft Excel, you can download it onto Excel. And you'll see at the top, there it is, Tyson Database, Excel, it's been saved. So, some ideas using Google Sheets to create a, a database. And uh, I hope it works for you. Good luck.